like you, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, and I look forward to the movie that you guys are going to put out and uh, possibly reviewing it maybe next year or so. Hell yeah, that would that would be awesome. Thank you. Time to get holy up in this mother. Yeah, I really don't want to risk it right now, especially with the YouTube ad pop that's going on right now. I feel like it's better not to say any bad words at this time. But I will say this about Jesus Bro, it did not disappoint. Now, in case you guys don't know, Jesus Bro is a movie that. <coughs> Um, do you mind? I'm kind of doing a review here. Yeah, uh, I thought I was going to review this. Well, not right now. Well, I mean, after all, this type of movie is right up my alley. Don't you have a Patreon request to do? Well, I... Good point. Till next time. Indeed. Anywho, back to the movie. So in case you guys don't know what this movie is all about, Jesus Bro is the... Indiegogo project that was funded last year by Brad Jones and a few others, which is a comedy slash parody of all of those other really lame Christian shit movies that are spread out all throughout the, uh, you know, the de- last decade or so, and he kind of puts his own little spin on it. And in this one, the story entails this guy named Rick, who, played by Richard Gobble, who is an atheist YouTuber who has a near-death experience, sees Santa Christ, who tells him to convert millions of followers on his YouTube channel for a second chance, which he does. And uh, a lot of hilarity ensues. Now, I just want to say right off the top, this movie is quite honestly money well spent, especially for an Indiegogo project. The, the dialogue was great, the comedy was pretty good for the most part. The actors in this were uh, really good for the most part. The supporting characters were really okay as well. There were a couple that just felt a little deadpan, but I'll get into that in a little bit with the details in the spoiler section. But for the overall, for the most part, the sound was great, the special effects were pretty good, and for a lot of uh, small budgeted effects or practical effects that they used, it was actually pretty spectacular as well. And uh, I, you, I never really realized this, but it seems like atheists do have a real fondness for uh, chicken sandwiches. And overall, I would have to say that this movie is, without a doubt, a 4 out of 5 in my book. Now, if you guys don't, haven't seen the movie yet, I highly recommend it. It is available on Vimeo or on their main website. I'll leave a link in the description box below or whatever font that up, text I'll place right here. In case you guys want to watch it yourself, it is definitely a great rental if you guys want to check it out. Now, with that said, let me get into the spoilers as I take a bit of a stretch. So in the movie, uh, Rick is an atheist, of course, like I said before, has a near-death experience after drinking some holy water flavored beer, and pretty much sees Santa Christ. Now, this is the, the one type of movie a lot of people would speculate that like, if this is part of the Channel Awesome movie franchise, or is this actually part of the review-verse? I would have to say, in my personal opinion, yes and no, uh, but it's usually up to their imagination. I did see the uh, live stream that Brad Jones uh, put out uh, last week about his Jesus Bro uh, live stream, and uh, he says it is just up to the viewer's imagination. He didn't, he didn't really intend it to be like that, but it was just all coincidental for the most part, and also to be funny. And I will have to say, out of all the um, Nostalgia Critic episodes and uh, the Channel Awesome movies that I've seen over the years, this is the most flushed out, detailed interpretation of Santa Christ that we've seen played by Rob Walker. And he even goes so far as to just kind of go into character, then to go out of character when he pulls down the beard and everything else. Just still talking, you know, saying how it is and everything else, as the problems and dealings that they have, that he has going on with heaven right now and uh, he throws the beer back up and he still does all the Christmas and the holy stuff and I and it's really enjoyable to see that to see a supporting character who's been in a lot of movies in episodes for the most part actually getting more very flushed out and it's really really good and there's also uh, Malcolm the the devil he did pretty well as you know for the most part as well he did his own little dealings and uh, tried to convince people to jump the lake of fire and everything else and also and the best part is that he play, he plays uh, bets on uh, with uh, Santa Christ uh, when humans doing their dealings which is where uh, Rick was doing the most part they were pretty much placing a bet on Rick as he was trying to go along converting 
or burning followers and all that, burning atheists and followers and all that stuff. And I thought that was pretty a pretty good twist. And uh, another thing that didn't seem really boring, it was also uh, quite entertaining. And the movie was written by uh, Brad Jones, of course, if you don't know who he is, he's the cinema snob. And he did a pretty good job. He also did pretty well when it came to bringing in uh, all of his friends from Channel Awesome as supporting characters, doing playing a variety of roles. And I would have to say they're not wasted at all. Alison Pregler, who was actually pretty good in this, Fard Muhammad, who was also spectacular as Carlos, and he had that very, very intoxicating chuckle that it was just like reminding me of uh, the Dr. Hibbert uh, from The Simpsons mentality. Uh, it was just so contagious, it was funny. Everyone else was pretty good. There were a couple of actors who I thought were kind of a little over the top or a little deadpan for the most part, and that was mostly from uh, the guy in the beginning of the movie, uh, Nash who was playing the fake Jesus, and he was just kind of going kind of a little over the top. And then there was this bartender as well, I forgot his name, but he just seemed a little deadpan for the most part, just looked like he was just re reading a script, a sentence from a script, and just saying that sentence over and over again until he finally got it right. That, that, but they were just pretty much minor for the most part. They were just, they had very small roles that were only in it for like a minute or two, so it kind of glosses over that. And plus you got your other um, the pe the other people who are haters, but those are the, those are the, uh, I remember those were the, uh, Indiegogo sponsors or something like that, because they were kind of, eh, with their, uh, acting roles as well, but then again, when you pay a thousand bucks for, uh, you know, to fund a movie, and you want to be in it, you have to do your overall best, but those supporter, those thousand dollar supporters didn't do so well, but overall, um, the comedy's great, um, a lot of stuff there were pretty much on cue, and I would have to say, that David Gobble is pretty much fantastic at this. And I do hope they do make more of these movies. Be, or and not at least the parody, Christian parody movies, but just more stuff like this. Because it is a nice refreshing change of pace when it comes to uh, seeing these guys and actors and actresses doing other roles other than their own uh, internet personas that they've been doing for years. So overall, it was such a great little uh, flick and a great little movie and I highly recommend it. To rent it at least. Um, if you do, there is a, a selection where you can purchase it for $20, but that's entirely up to you guys. So, with that said, that's pretty much my personal review on Jesus Bro. I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you guys are interested, I do take requests through Patreon during my $2 donations every other month. So, make sure to hit that Patreon uh, link if you guys are, are interested, and I will be taking, looking forward to taking any and all movie uh, movie review class requests for this new video segment series. If not, then I got pretty much a crap ton of movies over here on my DVD rack that I'll pretty much uh, use. So, with that said, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.